We're gonna swap out all the parts and see what it takes to do and how long. Definitely recommend you guys getting a skid plate cover because this one got shattered on a rock. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the skid guard on the new one. It's a two millimeter Allen key. Okay, so right here, up here, and down there, both have small two millimeter Allen keys. And then up here on that side is a four millimeter, the same as the old style bolt right there. So now we're gonna unscrew the big four millimeter bolt on this rock guard. After I unscrew that four millimeter, this piece comes out, the little door piece, that's a pain in the ass to change. And then now it's become just like the old battery. We're gonna pull that four millimeter out. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, this is the old 700 watt battery. Basically all you do is get a 400 or a four millimeter Allen key and you just unscrew that. Okay, we're gonna pop that out. So basically they're identical how they are now. The newer Levo just has an upgraded, I'm not even gonna call that upgraded, I'm gonna call it changed, maybe a little bit more waterproof. All we're gonna need to do is get a four millimeter Allen key. This is the old style battery isolator. It's got, it's a two piece system with bolts. So here's the new style battery, but a better design, a one piece battery isolator. So new, old. As you can see, these batteries are literally identical. Very, very good battery system. Perfect size, weight, shape. That's why specialized bikes look so good because this is thin, round and long so they can maintain that skinny down tube that just looks super good. A lot of those square Shimano batteries are pretty ugly. This was bang up to date, 2019 design, still valid, 2023. Small improvements, no drastic changes. To swap over from the old battery to the new battery, take you about 10, 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna put it back together. Oh. I don't know. Tight fit. Try it that way. The protector door. Actually, what's going to be easier is we're going to take this bolt. This is the long four millimeter securing bolt. Oh. Squeeze that down. There's that channel and this T thing, and we're gonna get it in there. And dude. So if you're forcing stuff on bikes, you're doing it wrong because this stuff's real soft. So there's two two millimeter bolts are securing the battery door to the skid plate. One is up here. That was a 2.5, so we got a two millimeter. battery doodad is universal the newer style one is much better because it's one piece and it's isolating the battery even more it's a four millimeter so we're going into plastic so we just want to make it snug we don't want to over tighten into plastic all right goes in so we're going to give it a little push Ooh. There's a little bit of a resistance, so you got to find the point that it's not too, like it's breaking something, but not too hard, not too soft. Oh, last comparison, the bolt is much better on the new bikes. It threads in a lot easier, but if you're having problems like I just did, what we're going to do is we're going to push in on the bolt. Get it tight. Get our flapper doodad battery cover in. Push it down. 
Now we're gonna go so, and we're all set to go.